Hi guys and welcome back. We're here with part 13 of our Wrath of Sparta campaign with myself and Scrim. Hello. Um, so yeah, I think we are f in a fairly good position. I say this every episode, I say we're in a fairly good position and really like behind the scenes we're both like, oh my god, they were so stressed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, but um, so I think, yeah, I'm in a fairly good position. I think Athens is kind of ready to... Well, not ready to fall, but is on the run a bit in the south. And I think I can make a, a quick dash for Linthos and retake my lead. And then maybe take Tyrone, oh. but who knows. <laughs> I'm, I'm just looking at, um, sorry, I'm just looking at Bios here. I got Provincial Instability for the next 20 turns. Ooh. And that's minus 20, minus 1 per turn. So this is going to be quite difficult, because then you have to go over Andros, which will only add to it. So I'm going to be dealing with a lot more Rebels than I thought I was. Oh dear. Uh, I'm pretty sure, like, Athens as well, like, for the, probably the rest of this campaign is going to be in um, public disorder. Because well not yeah. disorder but because of this plague of Athens Athens it's got fourteen turns left oh god and it's minus ten a turn just before I begin my go by I just want a quick announcement for all my airsofters out there I am now back on schedule next week by the way with airsoft videos just to chuck that out there for you guys this last week of my total war uh, doubling up so I was literally going to say that uh, happy days we we just it's so in sync <laughs> <laughs> yeah I've actually really I've actually really uh, Love doing this because Total War is like, my favorite game of all time, so it's been really good fun. But now back to the uh, back to the grind of shooting people. That's always in good. Any as well. context, in any other context, that'd be a really bad thing to say. Yeah, it would be. But yeah, in in this context, it's okay. <laughs> you're only shoot, Righty. You're shooting people Ooh. with fake bullets. <laughs> yeah, plastic BBs. Righty, let's uh, kickstart this episode. Right. So what do I need to do? I don't think I can do anything actually. I'm just gonna end my turn. <laughs> How exciting! Um, so exciting. There's gonna there's going to be a rebellion. That's just going to happen. Um, let's see if I can do any faction stuff. Any diplomacy stuff, I should say. I was no. say, any faction stuff, could you uh, possibly improve your support? Because I think I need to, actually. I think I did that before the end of last episode, but oh. I better double-check that. I might need to boost mine, because mine are not looking happy. Oh, Ellis would like to trade. I might and has accepted my offer. I might say um, loyalty, I think, next turn, because mine are very not are not happy. Yeah, mine's at risk at 0%, so I'm back on track. I have, Yeah, I secured loyalty last time, but neither of them are happy still, so I have to spend a bit more dollar mm. keeping them happy. But I've got some in income to make that happen, so that's okay. Yeah, I've, mine's at 18%, and one's at minus 19, but that's not too bad. And then the other one's at minus 9, so... Mine's should... minus 9 and minus 8, so... We should be okay. Uh, what's this? Oh, shoot the defences. Sorry, I'm not upgrading one of my people now. Um, wait, what do I go for? Oh, decisions. Um, let's go for that one. We're going to go for defences. And my champion upgrading my army will continue to upgrade my army. Okay, there we go. And pass on to you. Thank you. I just realised Macedon is also here. Oh no, I can't reach. I can't have an ambush. Damn. <laughs> right, back we go. Ashley. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, you can't even reach either. Beautiful. I'm just going to send all my armies <laughs> to Dodonna. <laughs> Basically defend up. Last stand. Yeah, it really is. I'm just going to keep recruiting and just and pray. Lots of praying that they don't come for me. Luckily, you got plenty of gods to pray to. Yeah, I do. It's true. I'm just spoilt for choice. <laughs> um, I'm going to... What's this army? Oh, yes, I'm just bringing... Was I bringing this army up as well? I might have been. I don't know. Actually, no. I... Mm. The Megazeus, huh? There's a temple here called the Megazeus. Oh. Megazeus. Better than normal Zeus. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just moving oh. some armies and navies around just to uh, free up some. I don't know, free up some, free up some forces. I'm now able to send another eight stack north, and that's got hot plights and various things in it. So that should be, should be, should okay. be alright. Yeah, should be okay. Um, there was a plan. I'm pretty sure that we had for Andros. 
but you had to, uh, you were waiting. Yeah, I was gonna. I was going to wait out another turn and then I was going to embark into the seas, which I can t- I kind of can and can't do because they've got a large navy. Yeah, but then I was going to support with my navy and just... Yes, you were. So we could still do that, possibly. I have to wait till next turn. That's yeah. when my army's ready. I know um, the Ionian League is kicking about quite a bit and Rhodes is also kicking about as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. No point fighting that. No point. I was just watching that now. I was going to say what you can do with them. Kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna raise the settlement. Oh, hey, you got the whole of a tyke. Yeah. I also don't really. Oh, actually, that's helpful having the food. Oh, I was going to boost uh, support um, for disciples of Zeus. We're going to boost. Boost. So they're now at minus 11. The other one is at minus 13. And they we're now at risk of uh seven percent of a rebellion. So that's okay. That's that's okay. I can live with that. And this is where you have a civil war next <laughs> turn. Don't say that. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't need that sort of stress in my life. Um right. So and then we'll upgrade this guy um to I don't know. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. I've gone with trainer just to get more experience for any units that die off. So currently, I get three chevrons like for a unit now. Nice. An recruit, but he's a, in a full stack, so that's never going to happen anytime soon. Um, and then, well, I'll go to the north. And do I want to recruit any more? Possibly not. Possibly not. I don't know. Just realised the rebel army's just spawned outside of Calcus. Oh. Scrim. <laughs> oh dear. Oh uh, dear. It's just one knock after another, isn't it? Yeah. It is. I, I can't. Like, with minus 20 instability, it's just it's going to be a tough one to keep hold of. I believe that you can do it. So. Oh, thanks. It's okay. Um, I'm going to go with you. A spy. I'm buying a spy. Right, and we're oh no, I've got an edict I can in, in sight, so we'll do that. Probably for a tyke. So we got minus that. Um, reduce the slave population decline. Bread and games, I probably will be going with that one. Or tax. Or loyalty to political party ruling this province. You might want the you might want political party loyalty. I am I'm, I'm going with that. <laughs> yeah. So that's not really helping anything this turn. That might come into force next turn, I imagine. I mean, nope. a- Athens... Yeah, I'm in my turn. <laughs> Athens has is... decided to go and engage Sparta in the sea. Yeah. Which and Socrates is now harassing Sparta. Ah. <laughs> oh, Athens has totally abandoned Andros. Go for it. You need to go for that. Uh, yeah. Although, to be fair, my own settlement is now open if I do that. But... That's fine, because what I can do is whittle down their army and just retake it again, which will only add to my provincial uh, instability, which is... Uh, that would be fine, <laughs> I think. It's I not mean, like I've got rebels already. I could cover your... Um, cover the port with my fleet, if you wanted That to. would be kind of cool, actually, because then, then we can kind of take a grasp of these uh, islands and push forward. Yeah. Take out Athens once and for all. Hmm, it'd be a good idea. Minus one food as well, apparently. Oh dear. Starvation is starting. That's why I was tempted to do bread and games, because mine's not... It's okay, it's six. Like, oh, you'll be fine. I liked a bit... I'd like a bit more. Bit more food. Bit more food. Always good. Persian Empire's kicking about now. I know, well. it's... They're bringing up some big stacks, and I'm not really sure what to think of it. Hmm... I don't think they've gone towards the Ionian League, though they look like they're going to try it. Oh, okay, the Salian League has pulled away, so I might... I'll see what I'm doing. I mean, it's not my go yet, so... Okay, that's where the food problems are. Hey, I have to go to Andros quick. My food problems are currently in the province which doesn't like me. Oh, no. Which literally explains everything. Yeah, I mean, if you take Andros and then put bread and games in there, that'll help your food problem and your 
public uh, like order problem. It would indeed. I'm going to have to force march my army to Calchas, though, just to deal with this rebellion. So, Luckily, Sparta and I are at war, so I can... Oh! Athens has taken over Paralos. Oh. Parasolos. Uh, basically, in the middle of Spartan territory. Athens has? Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, talking about taking over territory... Oh, I can't even reach the bloody Andros. <sighs> You know I will the be there next turn. Can you not with the fleet? No, I've, I've embarked my uh, units and everything. Oh, I don't. I can't see. Oh, they're yeah, they're in the fleet. Oh, I see. Uh, you should be okay. I don't think Andros will come for you. It's a, it's a transports as well. Yeah, that's the problem. The transports are weak as anything. What I need to do is maybe land my units on the beaches if I can. Maybe yeah. Oh no, Hel they're all transport fleets anyway. Helena's faithful is. The uh, Ionian League is a mixture of fleets, but I don't think the Ionian League will strike out and take anything. I don't think the AI would be like, yeah, let's take this random bit of land. I mean, mm. I say that Athens has just taken a random bit of land. Okay, oh, so what I've done is I've moved my fleet just to the outside of Kaisel, so if it does get attacked, I can reinforce each other. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to... I can't even build ships because that's going to take it. Right, so my fleet's just outside of Kaiser, so they can reinforce each other. That's the smartest thing I could do currently. Yeah, yeah. That, that um, righty, I don't know if I can do anything else really because they just basically want to kill me. Uh, let's build a shrine in Calchas at least. Get the public <laughs> order proving up. Oh, yeah, stealth. Um, what do we want? Commerce or happiness? I think a little bit of commerce. And I'll end my turn. I've just realised like a war with Lamia, a war with Lamia, a war with Sparta to take Lamia would probably be in your interest to get the, like the whole region of Boeotia. It's very true. That might be in my interest, I suppose. Um, I mean, Athens is oh, not Athens. I keep saying Athens, I'm getting all my state, states mixed up. Sparta <laughs> is retaking land in the Peloponnese currently. I'm don't really want to spend money. I'll send an envoy to. The um, the games edict. Oh, I, I said I did nothing. I, I I spent 300 quid on it. I feel like it's a waste. Oh dear. Secure loyalty. One percent now. It's at one percent. Happy spent, days. I spent so much money though, like on stuff that I really probably would rather not spend money on. Laying siege to the settlement. Right, Ooh. after however many turns of missing this settlement, I have now retaken Olynthos. Olynthos, was that? In the north. Ah, you're actually pushing forward. Yeah. Happy days. I mean, Mac Take it was there. Yeah, Macedon has. Yeah, there's nothing there apart from the garrison. Macedon has a. Ooh, could I? 33% chance of sub I might I'll give that a go. I'll give that a go. Spend some money on spy networking. Why not? Ah, uh, failed. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, uh, she's all right though. She survived. We can accept failure. Would you would you be a dear friend? Do you know your friends of Nereids? Oh yeah, you don't mean to move them. Yeah, it's a castle. Just to provide that little bit of extra security. Yes, I. I and then uh, I, I can push into Andros. I will do that for you. Thank you. Um, where do I need to move it? Sorry again. Uh, to just Cal outside of the iron settlement. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I could attack it. Um, Please don't. I need it. Okay. Yeah. Roads can't reach me this turn, so we're excellent. That's all right. Once I get into Andros, I'll be fine. I think. Yeah, I I can move there quite easily. Right. Happy days. And now, you stay in Naxos. You can do nothing. Oh, I was going to upgrade Paros's food thing, but oh, we'll do that another day. Another day. Um. Oh, you got something here. Turns to recover from wounds. Cool. And then I would like you to commit arson. No. <laughs> I, shouldn't, <laughs> I shouldn't just say that like that because that's just, just not coming. I'd like you to murder someone. No, I did not say that out loud. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, I don't murder today. 
Today I clean. Today I clean. I'm going to go with that one because that helps with experience for units that I produce, I think. I think. Me thinks. Right. And then what have we got here? Oh, ten. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. I'm going to put you into unbreak here. Um, oh, there are how east this map goes. Yeah, it goes really far, doesn't it? It's like a third away through the Turkey. I'm looking at some of the um, settlements you just don't know exists. Yeah. Right, Griffin Grace is nearly a full stack. Nearly. I'm literally using like one of my armies just to transfer units to and fro. Yeah, like a reinforcement pie. Yeah. I do that sometimes. Oh, like, I cannot get the Thessalian League's last settlement though, currently, while they have armies in it. Because it has an 11 stack. And their garrison is 10. Wow. You need a full force then. Yeah, I'm going to need a huge army to go and get them. I also kind of want to. The Aetolian League really does not like me and I kind of need them to like me I mm -hmm. yeah when I finished my war with the Thessalian League I plan to turn around and deal with the Aetolian League which has oh they got a 20 a 7 they've got 37 but I can attack units. their yeah I can attack their unit outside the 7 the 7 yeah if you take if you siege the city you can then send another unit to attack them and deal they can't reinforce each other yeah exactly exactly is a plan. I have the plan. It's just so I then like this region, North, um, like Aetolia, is entirely man. It's a two two settlement uh, region. I might yeah, as well it just take it. Have it. Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna end the turn, and we'll actually. Uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do to, to diplomatically because no one likes me because I've taken Athens. <laughs> okay, Athens has taken more of Sparta's land in the north. In the north. Oh, I, I just moved one of my armies yeah. as well. And I can't speak. Oh, <laughs> uh, I need to be by my back. Keeping this province stable is going to be a very difficult thing for me to do. I can possibly transfer you some armies when when I have less opposition of my own. Byzantium yeah. has landed... Oh, where? In the north near Olynthos. It's so Basically, dumb. everything's happened, happening in the north of Greece, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Like, far too much is happening as well. I'm glad to say my navy wasn't attacked, so uh, thank you for uh, the deterrent. It's okay. Rhodes, what are you doing? <laughs> Ro okay, Rhodes oh, Ro might be coming for my land. Yep, you, if you need to go back and sort your stuff out. Yeah, I might. Um, and no, I need... I nearly, very nearly pulled away from that. Oh dear. Right. Andros, here we go. That's better. I'm just gonna. Yeah, there's nothing here to really think about. Very good. Oh, it's two thousand income currently. Jeez, that's gonna be a good. In that's a nice little uh, nice settlement for me. Oh, I'm gonna raise half of it and turn it into a farm. So <laughs> make farm. Oh, stability minus twenty. Another minus twenty. Yeah, just from taking the. Same. Or if I raise it. There's only minus five. Might be better to raise it then. I'm gonna have to raise it because I can't do. I can't sit here for the rest of the game just trying to control this one settlement. Uh, what does this glass settlement do anyway? Glassware, public health, yes, industry stuff, isn't it? <laughs> um, I just need farms. I need food. Give me food. Uh, let's deal with these rebels, because that's, you know, fun. <laughs> oh, look, they ran away. I, I never suspected that. Into my lands. How I have as well. they? The thing is, they're all pretty upgraded, but my units are starving. I can... Uh, I could possibly deal with them. Oh, God, they're not even worth... Yeah, that's just... <laughs> it's not I, need to get, I need to get back to Oreos anyway, because if Athens is knocking on my door again, I need to sort that out. Yeah... Hopefully Athens will take Lamia from Sparta, so you can take the whole region. Yeah, I could do that as well. Right. Where, what, what do I presume that? Athens is going to take Lamia? Or do I go to Oreos and bring the fight to them? 
Um, you could take you could take the fight to them because it would allow you to build more uh, to take more lands and then build more mm. farms, and it will strengthen your position. And then you can also then support me in the war against Macedon because you'd be very that'd near be, Macedon. That's very true. Um, oh, I can get some new research. Right, what am I researching? I'm researching. I've just got level three cities, so I probably should need to. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm thinking. Don't think too hard. Oh, steam coming out of my ears. <laughs> um, ten melee defense skill for units and morale. I'm thinking that one. Or oh, minus upkeep for melee units and recruitment costs. I'll stick with that one. Uh, so you know, Andros had two thousand income. It's now got eighty six. Because oh. you raised it. Because I raised it. It's on minus sixty eight um, stability. Minus sixty six now. Yeah, I know. It's absolutely buggered. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hopefully you can. Oh, but I'll just. Uh, what's hmm? your food like now? Is it's it? at zero, so it's stabilized. <laughs> and the only other problem I could find is the fact that I have to deal with more rebels. Mm. Yeah, not great. Provincial instability is now at 18. Conquest at minus 50. Jeez Louise. Oh! Edicts. We're so weedy. Uh, breading games. Yeah. Check political, still 0%. Right, I'm just going to. Despite the fact that I want to take my whole province of Bueta, I'm going to hope that Sparta actually holds on to Lamia. Yeah. Because then that opens up another front, and I do not want to move an army to Delphi or Obos just to take that out. Yeah, hopefully Sparta has forces there, but I have a sneaky feeling that most of them might be in the south in the Peloponnese. Uh, send my spy over. That's the best thing I could do. The spy's got a lot of... Um, Vision. I was going to say travel speed, or oh. travel distances. So nearly there already. Uh, I'm going to upgrade my little boats. <laughs> my boat. uh, and I'm probably going to start building a fleet now. Four turns. Oh wow. <sighs> okay, it's gonna be four turns before I even get three ships. <sighs> Never mind. Hey. And there was a rebel army and my iron settlement. Fantastic. Oh, no. And then the main games happened. They were a thing. <laughs> what happened? Then the main games. Oh. The, the things that you didn't send any people to. I just like <laughs> I sent I sent an envoy. I Did your envoy enjoy himself? I'm going to say he must have because like, it came back and he just said it was amazing. Like, the people there were just so nice and like everyone was just really happy for some random reason. Didn't say the why. The sounded like I had a good time. He did. He must have. I think he must have got lucky with the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> the Olympic Games going for it. <laughs> go, go, go lucky with the... <laughs> yeah, go get lucky with some laughs. Oh, dear. Right, let's build some more farms and maybe better temples. Oh, actually, how much temples does that upgrade it? 8 to 12. Oh, it's quite... But then it brings food from minus 1 to minus 4. I might just wait. <laughs> I Indeed. might wait. I'm also not quite sure what I'm going to do with... Um, actually, I do actually. I'm going to put my spy into training with my general get her upgraded a bit more before I go to war. Byzantium, I'm going to hold and wait and see what they do because they're going to have to come past me to uh, engage me. I have a garrison mm. of four even though it's pretty battered and I have a defense of 18. Do you think you could take over Tyrone? If you take that over then you've essentially secured that area as long as you've got a garrison of Lymphos. Yeah, but that's where it literally Byzantium's army is just oh, outside no, just so i'm yeah. wait i'm waiting till they attack me and then <clears> i'll attack them well, i have a feeling we're gonna have to go through maston to get to the rest of athens lands aren't we i hate to this say is, this it. is where this is where it's going isn't it it is looking a bit like that macedon's not looking strong but it's also not weak it's it's still there yeah it's still a problem so i'm gonna i'm going to try and take thessalia <laughs> he says through gritted yeah. teeth Salia. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to build... What am I lacking in this army? <sighs> Problem is I can't build hoplites in the north. That's why I so treasure my uh, elite stack of units with my champions in them, because 
it doesn't matter what happens to them they're gonna last <laughs> yeah I mean like I say this guy's got nearly maxed up melee defense like literally the bar's nearly full and my base morale is just awesome nice I'm going to build a barracks in the north I think a pro uh, so I have a base to where I can build proper yep. good soldiers and then I'm going to build well like I say if you take over um, basically take over what province is that I'm trying to click on it uh, uh, Macedonia, you can get your iron province yourself. Ah, uh, yes. I do need an iron province. And I can get timber. But yeah, yeah. I mean, if I can take Macedonia, then that's basically... Yeah. The game is done, I think, at that point. Right, I actually haven't looked at Corinth and see if I can do anything here. Corinth is very happy, so I'm not actually even going to touch it. To Might honest. as well leave it. Yeah, just like, it's 100 public order, plus 19 to go. There's just no need to touch that. Um, the north possibly needs some help. The north. No, I can't upgrade anything there. So it would have to be, unless I can improve secure loyalty. I can't. So for no. five turns. Ooh, I'm at zero risk of uh, civil war, so I don't know why I'm worried. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a shrine in Lorien then. Oh, and I have to move that navy back because yeah I was going to say you might want to do something with that it's fine because the army um, Rhodes got a champions of Cer Cerberus coming in and it's uh, transport fleet so yeah, uh, yeah I've, I've Helena's faithful I don't think it's going to be much of a threat it's the Ionian League I'm worried about but they are out of range Thank or God. the fleet isn't but everything else is oh no mm. I take it back <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be okay as long as they don't clump together. Once they clump together, that's when I'm in trouble. Okay. But I need to move back my army because guess what? Another rebel army. Oh dear. Outside my iron settlement. Oh gosh. I'm going to build up another army. Well, not an army, but more troops to then exchange into the other one. Socrates is now harassing Sparta again. Sparta's lost another soldier. Oh, oh It can't afford to. It oh, needs all Socrates this. is just the bane of my existence. Also, it's worrying to see that Sparta's retreating from Lamia. Mm. Like that army so, should be in Lamia. Because... Oh, Athens has moved away from... Ah, oh, they're moving away. Yes. Excellent. Leave my iron settlement alone. There is nothing here for you. <laughs> That's right. Run away. Go away. Gives me a chance to build my fleet up as well, which is actually kind of a very massively huge blessing. Yeah. That's it just means well. that my army's going to take a turn to get there, though. That's the annoying thing. Sparta has gone back to Lamia. Thank God. And yeah, the I'm saying the same. Oh, dear. The Aetolian League is doing so. Byzantium has moved a little bit, but not a lot. Oh. Yeah. That... <laughs> I feel like they don't know what they want. I feel like... Oh, and Persia. Yeah. Persia's going back to Persian land, so they've uh, yeah. obviously stopped feeling like we're a threat. Yeah. Oh, and Rhodes, Rhodes is getting ever nearer. I might go out to meet them. Oh, a festival of women. Married women leave their homes for the outs outskirts, bathing their bodies for purification and sacrificing pigs. Uh, the nights are alive and full of fires. They feast and celebrate. Maybe this year we may see a performance of something or other and even a bigger word, which I'm not going to pronounce. But um, plus public public order. What I really need is extra public order. So thank you, God. Mm. All right, the Wings of Pegasus are now moving back to uh, my Iron Settlements and they're actually in range for reinforcements, making this a lot easier to deal with. Okay, time to upgrade my new settlements. They're still building. I think they're docked, aren't they? Yeah, they're docked. So Andros should be safe for now. Champions of Hercules needs to go back to Oreos for obvious reasons. And then I need to rebuild the army because it's literally depleted to half strength at best. Jeez. It's taken a battering from starvation. Yeah. So yeah, the fleet will I'm guessing your fleet will just defend Andros and then you can then use That's... the army to then push north again. That's kind of the idea, but I need to stabilize this place because yeah. it's just not happening. That's so yeah, I'm gonna build a fleet to defend uh, Boatia, essentially, and then I'm gonna push north and Let's take on Macedonia. Let's uh, see what they've got to save themselves. Yeah, they um, not a lot currently. They're kind of just wandering around in the north. But uh, yeah, we are at the half hour mark. And it, okay, <laughs> you're just gonna throw that to me anyway. 
We'll do one last turn. We'll do one last turn. Okay, one last turn. You're just so eager to see me die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Byzantium, yeah, has moved like a little bit forward, and then it's just gone. No, that's as far as we go yep. now. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, it's always a thing where you see the AI coming, you're like, oh my god, they're coming, and then they just go, nah, I'm all right. <laughs> There's Thief, which gives me 200 wealth from, um, oh, and then it goes to 600 if you get it, uh, and th if you get it to the max, if you rob yeah. an agent. I kind of tend to do it and then just, and then just do that for like the entire yeah. entire game and just go rob, rob, rob. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Go on then. Do a bit of that. They got a, oh there is a Athenian um, noble in the north, but it's not it's not a uh, Socrates. Luckily, that's good. Socrates is still south next to my capital, being well, being a prick mostly, but you know. <laughs> right, I am going to. I'm gonna move some forces. <laughs> Gonna do some moving about. Oh, there's three stacks with the Eternian League now. They've got an extra, what, 7, 10, 20, another 7. God, you're not making me sound confident at all. Well, I mean, if it makes you feel better, it's gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be me that you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> that does not make give me, fill me with confidence, to be honest, Scrim. <laughs> You're a better. Uh, I know. You're a better player than the <laughs> than the AI. Ah, uh, you're better with cavalry, though. I'll give you that. Oh, thank you. I'm terrible with cavalry. I just send them off to take out artillery, and after that, it's just archers, and then they're just kind of useless to me after that. Uh, um, I'm gonna go for <laughs> unlocks commit. Oh, so yes, we'll do that. Um, I am sieging down a layer now. I'm going to try and break it through siege. And make force them to come out because I will have. This is a layer, is it? Yeah, I'm gonna have. Oh, a, yeah. I'll have another, another like, thirteen troops to go and back them up by the time that they arrive. So you can I try and force them out. If yeah. you take on the first army before the garrison forces sort of arrive as reinforcements, you might be able to stand chance. Yeah, I will see. I will see. I've got a lot of money to spend as well. I'm earning four grand to go, again. I'm on four six zero oh, two. Very nice. Yeah, that's after raising one of the more profitable settlements as well. Yeah, we're both doing okay on the money side of things. I just wish the rebels would just go away. Go away! <laughs> Stop rebelling! I'm nice. I'm a look. Bread and games. <laughs> I'm a a just ruler. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. It could be Athens. It's true. That is a very good point you make there. Right, so my Champions of Heracles is going to be a full stack. I will actually have three full stacks, I didn't realise soon. Happy days. Yeah, it will be. It will be. Oh yes, I was going to go and meet... Possibly meet... Um, Rhodes in the field. I think I will. I will go and meet Rhodes in the field. Oh, it's not even worth actually fighting, though I really want to fight a naval That's because it's a transport fleet, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not going to fight it, just because... It's a transport fleet. And we are getting to, and we are getting to the end of the episode. Yeah, so that's right. We are already over over, over time anyway. But anyway, so I've destroyed Rhodes. They've, they are no longer a problem. I thought, isn't Rhodes left, uh, west of Elos, though? Um, Elos, even. Haven't they got an army kicking? They did. Uh, they did. That's the one that's come back, I think. Ah. Okay. Oh no, no, no. The, the one that you're thinking of, the enemy fleet is near Melos. Yeah. Oh, I my see. Random, um... My random vassal in the south. <laughs> still, looks like that. Looks like having a plague at the moment. Yeah, they are. Yeah. It's it's a hard time living in Melos. <laughs> it's a hard, brutal life. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, and I'm gonna buff up my fleets a bit more. Buff up my fleets. Put some archers there, and then what can we build up here? We can build some cavalry and some militia hoplites. Very nice. We'll do that. End the turn. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Socrates is still harassing Sparta, and they've lost another unit. Oh dear. <laughs> 
It's oh, literally just depleting no. his army. Yeah, and Athens is now God. bringing a lot of troops to Tyrone, so it could be like a joint invasion. Tyrone, where's that? Is that the in the north? north, it's the one random. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. It's the last finger of that peninsula. What is Matt, What is Sparta doing? I, was, it's just... I don't think... Uh, it's moving north. Oh, uh, is that Lamia now? Finally. And they're recruiting, which is going to take a couple of turns. And Byzantium has moved, and I can't see where it moved to. <laughs> it's just scary. <laughs> 20 stack as well, not a good sign. I might have to get rid of the units I'm recruiting and then just build some mercs, save save time. Well, luckily I'm going to be moving north soon once I deal with the provincial instability. Oh, and the Sicilian League is going to march out. I'm going to retreat because there is no way in hell I can win that. Oh, what was it? It was them uh, attacking me from my siege down. Me sieging down. They were like, you want to try something? Yeah. Anyway. Oh, I think Byzantium might have gone into ambush stance. No, oh, be careful then. I'm That's not, I'm not leaving this settlement. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, I think we're all uh, done here now for yeah. that 30-minute episode. So, um, yeah, thanks for uh, coming to watch, guys. It was always a pleasure. Uh, like I said, go check out Pope for his perspective and mine for, well, for mine for my perspective. Yeah, and, um, yeah sorry. <laughs> no, yeah, carry on. I was just gonna. I was just gonna say, yeah, for my viewers, go and check out uh, Scrim's view because he is having some some interesting times of his own with rebels and political um, problems. Oh, it's all fun and games. Yeah. <laughs> games. Anyway, guys, until the next one, I will see you guys later. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And until next one, bye for now.